Welcome to this video about the Swiss activation function. So this is a new type of activation function using deep neural networks. So this activation function has been recently published by the Google Brain in their research paper. So this research paper came in 16th October and it is like 10 days ago from now. So this activation function is getting harder right now because it has many advantages and it has been outperforming than the some common type of activation function we use widely today like ReLU rectified linear units so all those there are very al much alternatives for ReLU has been performed so there has not been a consistent gain in a good type of activation functions that can replace ReLU so this Swiss activation function is supposed to replace the ReLU so in this video I am going to walk you through this research paper so the first thing I want to tell you is if you are just learning deep learning then and also you are thinking about reading the research paper then I think this must be the best choice for you to start as the first one first research paper so this is very easy and not very difficult to read so if you start if you want to start reading the research paper then this must be or this can be your first one so let's get started in this video so the another thing i want to tell you is if you want to learn more about or just want to get updated news about the research paper don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll be just uploading more videos about about and discussing about these research papers soon so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get into the content so the first thing I want to say is in this about this activation function is that it is self gated so the meaning of self gating is feeding the same value for the gate itself so for normal gating it requires two inputs for the gate so but for self gating it just feeds the same value of the gate itself so the another advantage is activation functions that use self gating such as Swiss can easily replace the activation functions that take input as the single scalar such as in ReLU without just needing to change the hidden size and number of parameters so Swiss can easily replace ReLU so since ReLU also feeds the self gating and uses the self gating mechanism so so it can easily replace ReLU so the another thing I want to discuss about Swiss is that it is a smooth mon non monotonic function and it is defined by this formula it is very simple one so x times of sigmoid of x so we already know what this sigmoid of x means then it is just simple as multiplying by x so the another thing i want to tell you is when you should prefer swiss over relu so so the condition that if your network is very simple and ReLU and Swiss should perform almost about the same. So in this case, ReLU has advantage cause Swiss requires multiplication by this value x here. So Swiss requires multiplication this value x and it is more little more computational expensive. So for some kind of simple networks then ReLU and Swiss should perform the same. So you may need to you may prefer to use ReLU over Swiss. So this is the first criteria you should you should remember about choosing between Swiss and ReLU so the another thing is the activation function Swiss has directly impact over the training time and the performance of your network so you need to carefully choose which activation function is good for your needs so for example sigmoid may be the best choice for some kind of binary classification in the output layer and like ReLU and Swiss or some other kind of activation functions like 10s may be a good choice for the hidden layer so so you should carefully choose about the different types of activation functions so in every neural network like there is two steps so the first step is that you need to find the linear transformation and then the activation function so the linear transformation step is that the double time x plus b and the activation function is just using that output value and feeding into that functions that give some kind of output value so 
so the other thing about this swiss activation relu is so other thing i want to tell you about deep network with relu are more easily optimized than networks with sigmoid or tanas because gradient is about to flow when the input of the relu function is positive so when the input of the relu function is positive then gradient can easily flow then that is also the main advantage of relu so we are just talking about relu in here and we will be discussing why we should need swiss so in this so swiss is a smooth non monotonic function defined by this we have already discussed this so the the smooth is if you don't know what is smooth function is then smooth functions means the derivative exists at every point of this function or graph so the another thing is non monotonic so if you don't know what monotonicity or non monotonic is like it's a, if it is like ever increasing and then it is called monotonic so in here you can see here the value after this in the left side of this curve is it has been decreasing here and it is also increasing in here so it is called non monotonic so it was just going down then it would be like monotonic but this is not the case in here and so it is called a non monotonic function so it is non monotonic so you can see here the formula is this one we have already discussed here so we already know this what the formula for this sigmoid activation function is so there is inverse and that means that means 1 by e to 1 plus e to the power minus of x so that is formula for sigmoid activation so you can see here the this is the derivative of the swiss activation function and the graph for the swiss activation function here is goes so the swiss activation function can also be reparameterized like this so it interpolates between the linear activation and relu so if you can see here if the value of beta is you can if you just add this new parameter beta here and if the value of this beta is zero then then this part becomes zero zero times x is zero and so one by one plus e to the power minus zero it becomes so e to the power minus zero is one so one by one plus one is two so one by two this part becomes one by two and two and two gets cancel and this just x remains so it becomes a linear so okay so and if the value of beta is infinity then this part behaves like the zero one function so and this function here this total function behaves like a relu function so this interpolates between the linear and relu so you can read here the suggest that swiss can loosely be viewed as a smooth function which non-linearly interpolates between the linear function and the relu function so the degree of interpolation can be controlled by beta uh, is set as trainable parameters so the other thing i want to tell you in here is you should note here is if the standard switch works for your problem then there may not be additional gain from this parameter beta so learning parameter beta seems to work best if a problem cannot be solved by relu and you can just interpolate between those two activation functions and work and check if that works best for you so the another thing i want to discuss about is so the another thing about swiss activation function is it is it is unbounded above and bounded below so the property of on being unbounded above is just important for all activation functions because it helps to train the neural network much faster and and if it is bounded above like in sigmoid and 10s then there becomes a problem and there arise a problem because because at the point where there is if if the value of x or or the value input is very large then the slope is near to zero at the bounded level and so down and up here so it becomes near to zero when it becomes near to zero it makes the learning slow so being unbounded is a desirable property in here so it is unbounded up and being unbounded below is also desirable so this is one of the advantages of this activation function
2. The another thing is it produces negative output for small negative inputs due to its non monotonicity. So it produces a small negative output for small negative for small negative input due to the monotonicity property. So you can see here in ReLU the threshold is zero, so the output can never be less than zero. So if the input is less than zero, then it is it becomes zero and one. So here it can output a small negative value, which is also another desirable property of this switch activation function. So if you want to learn more about this switch activation function, then I highly recommend to check this paper so i'll post the link to the paper below so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching the video guys